Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lisa and in this video we're going to be talking through how I've completed this commission piece of this little dog Arlo. The pencils that I've used are Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils and the paper is Fabriano Artistico Hot Press watercolour paper. If you like this video remember to like and subscribe for more tutorials to come in the future. And if you'd like to see my progress photos remember to add me on Insta and if you'd like to see my previous work and things for sale you can check out Etsy. Let's get started drawing the dog. So to begin I use my dark sepia pencil and lightly outline the eye and get the shape that I want and then I put in a little bit of the white Holbein pencil where you can see the white highlights of the eye and then went in lightly with the sky blue to get the blue colour all over. Once that was in there I could go in with the sky blue and the dark sepia a little bit harder and start to get the shape of the eye, making sure to always go around the highlight to keep that nice and glassy looking. I also use some of the purple violet just to give it a little bit of a different tone in that area. As you start to get darker I just kept adding in more sky blue and more of the dark sepia to get the different areas. Then in the highlight I went in really lightly with the sky blue and then glaze over that again with the Holbein soft white and that will make it look nice and glassy and give you the wet look that you can see in the eye. So it's just a matter of going in with your darker colours and slowly building up the tones and making sure you're getting all of the light and dark colours in the right spot within the eye. So in the highlight of this eye you can really see that there are sort of branches and you can kind of see the reflection of a person in the eye so I was really trying hard to mimic that so I would go in with the sky blue in the highlight section go back over with the white Holbein pencil and then go in around the edges again with the sky blue and then more white Holbein pencil where the lighter sections are so just building up the different colors and adding in the really white sections with the white Holbein again. So after the eye was in I started to add some of the fur around the eye at the top and the bottom. Where it is a brown color I used the ivory and warm gray one and then where it's the white sort of brownie or the really white fur I used the warm gray one and built up the tones with the sky blue and warm gray three. In the browner sections around the eye and also in the ears I used a lot of the burnt sea Sienna, beige red, burnt ochre, walnut brown, warm grey 3, the cap at Morton violet where it's sort of a reddy brownie colour and also went in a little, with a little bit of cinnamon, nougat, raw umber and sort of all of the brownie tones in there. So when I'm doing fur like this I usually pick sort of clumps of fur and then start to add in the darker sections with the warm grey one and then do a base layer over either with the warm grey one or the ivory pencil and then just start to build up the tones around that. Curly fur and ears like this are very very difficult and it's important just to break it all down really small sections and work on them sort of one curl at a time. It's very very difficult. Moving on to the nose of this guy I went in with the nougat to do the outline and then with the dark sepia into the nostrils and the darkest bit. For the base layer of this one I went in with the sky blue, warm grey one, purple violet, beige red, burnt ochre. So so in the nose this one was very strange because it had a lot of sort of pink and purple colors and also a bit of brown so it was very difficult to get it took quite a long time to get it to the point where I was really happy with it but I did use the soft white Holbein pencil to blend all of the colors together and it gave it sort of that white pastel sort of look then glaze over with more of the blue purple and orange colors in the sections that I could see and then also back in with the dark sepia to darken it all up and then again with the soft white Holbein pencil to blend it all together and then back over again with the dark sepia. Then I just started to add sections of the fur like I mentioned before. So the fur underneath the nose is sort of dark but it has really white hairs in it. So I went in with the embossing tool and put in some embossed lines and then slowly start to build up the tones with the warm grey one, warm grey three and added in a little bit of the sky blue and then went in with the darker sepia around those embossed lines. I also went in with my scalpel and also with my soft white Holbein pencil to get more of those white hairs that could stick out. So I also just went in with a lot of brown colours and that gives it that sort of depth and thickness to the fur. So I use like the burnt sienna, burnt ochre, 
cinnamon, light magenta, the purple violet, a lot of Caput Mortem violet and also some of the walnut brown and really light sort of strands of all of this really help it to sort of smooth out and make it look like it's sort of like a tangled mess of hair rather than sort of flat. So let's talk about curly fur, which is one of the most difficult sort of furs that you can do. So this hair under the neck, I just went in and literally did sort of one lock of hair at a time. So because it's so um, mixed and curly and very tight curls, I just went in and used the warm grey one, warm grey three, the sky blue, the pink colours like the Caput Morton violet and cinnamon beige red and built up all the colors really lightly but if I went over and just glazed over the whole neck area then I would sort of lose where the curls are and where the lighter and darker shadows are so I went in and did pretty much one curl at a time and then at the end sort of evaluated where it needed to be lighter and darker so moving on to the tongue, I used a light glaze of the beige red and also the light magenta and then started to work in more of the light magenta and the purple violet and also a little bit of the sky blue depending on the colors of the tongue. Making sure that I had a heap of colors down and then blended with my Zestit solvent blender and then waited for that to dry and then I went back over with the same colors and then over with the white soft Holbein pencil to get those sort of white um, saliva bits on the tongue. If you'd like to see me using the solvent in real time, you can check out the flamingo tutorial or even the bat tutorial. So I knew that this whole mouth area was going to be really difficult. So remember just to break it down into little sections and do sort of one at a time. And then you can sort of start to link them together. And then at the end, stand back and have a look at all of the values and see where you want to make things darker and lighter. Doing an open mouth like this can be really difficult and very intimidating, but remember just to break it down into smaller sections and do one section at a time. So for the lead and the collar on this dog, I used one Caran d'Ache Luminance pencil, which was the middle cobalt blue, because that's a really sort of bright blue color. And also use some of the sky blue, the light ultramarine, and went in with the walnut brown and dark sepia to darken it all up. I did take advantage of the paper to use the grain of the paper to get the sort of white and blue sections of the fabric in the collar so you can see it looks sort of like fabric so I did use the paper and didn't blend it as much as I would usually to make it really smooth because I sort of wanted it to make it look like it was still fabric. At the end of this one I do what I usually do and left it overnight or for a couple of hours, come back to it and then assess the lighter and darker areas against the reference photo on my screen and then made any changes that I thought it needed. So this is the final result. I really hope that you've liked this video and some of these tips have been helpful for you. Give me a comment in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe and add me on Etsy and also on Insta and I'll see you in the next video. Keep drawing guys. Bye.